Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about the advantages and disadvantages of magic T junction. So, what do you mean by magic T? Magic T is nothing but it is a combination of both E plane and H plane T junction. Magic T is a hybrid junction. That's why it's a as it is a combination of E plane and H plane. It is also known as a hybrid junction or it is also known as a 3db coupler. It is also known as a 3db coupler because when we are giving input at a third port, the power is equally divided into first and second ports by an amount of reduction in the 3db. Okay, so it is also known as a hybrid junction 3db coupler and it is a combination of both E plane and as well as H plane T junctions. Now, coming to the benefits or advantages of this magic T junction. So, first one, advantages of magic T junction. Let us see. What are the different advantages we have with respect to this magic T? So first one, output ports are decoupled to each other. Output ports are decoupled. Output ports are decoupled to each other. As a result, power de delivered as a result, power delivered to one of the output ports does not depend. does not depend on termination at other ports on termination yet other ports see output ports are decoupled to each other so they suppose if you are taking one and two ports both one and two ports are what are the both one and two ports are isolated ports and similarly three and four ports are isolated ports so there is no relation between first and second port and similarly third and fourth ports that means they are decoupled ports there is no coupling between those two ports or we can say those two are isolated ports so as there is an isolation between these two ports we no need to terminate them actually we no need to terminate them okay in magic t output ports are perfectly matched so another important feature was so in magic t output ports are perfectly matched output ports are perfectly matched hence power division between them does not depend on hence power division between them does not depend on terminations connected on any of the ports of magic t unlike e plane t and h plane t unlike e plane t and h plane t junctions 
okay but whereas in the e plane and h plane case the power division between ports depend on the terminations at respect to output ports but here in this magic t it completely independent on the output ports which are terminated because termination is not required in one and two as i told you already as the those two opposite ports are exactly isolated ports okay power no need to dependent on the ports which are not in the transmission line okay these are the main advantages and as well as it is small in size it supports larger bandwidth these are the other two familiar advantages with this magic t uh, another advantage small in size small in size another one it supports larger bandwidth it supports larger bandwidth okay now let us see what are the various drawbacks of this drawbacks or disadvantages disadvantages of magic t junction okay so first one when energy propagates through the arm of magic t when energy propagates through the arm of magic t it results into reflections due to impedance mismatch at the junction mismatch at the junction this results into power loss actually this the problem is this results into power loss see when energy propagates through the arm of magic t energy propagates through arm of magic t <laughs> any type of arm first port second port third port any port is treated as a arm here it results into reflection due to impedance mismatch suppose if one is benefited with the power it is going to three and four ports but three and four four ports are terminated with mismatched impedance okay we are connecting a load but that load is having the impedance which is not equal to the impedance of the characteristic impedance of the transmission line then what happens definitely mismatch is there because of that mismatch what happens is whatever the power we are expecting to deliver that will not be delivered some power will be reflected back and going into other ways so power loss is definitely there because of this impedance mismatch moreover reflections cause reflections cause generation of uh, one more thing reflections cause generation of standing waves standing waves which results into which results into internal arcing so this limits the maximum power this limits the maximum power handling this results to maximum power handling capability of the magic t device of the 
magic tea device okay suppose if the in the first point what we have discussed if there is any impedance mismatch the power will be reflected back and there is a loss in the power and similarly the reflected power will cause standing wave <coughs> will cause standing wave that limits the maximum power handling capability of this magic tea device so whenever we are transmitting megawatts of power or kilowatts of power because of this loss definitely the loss in the power causes the maximum power handling capability losses and last one lines are very narrow and close to each other transmission lines are very narrow and close to each other so the transmission lines which are using and developing with respect to this magic t those are very close to each other and narrow enough so these are the somewhat drawbacks associated with respect to magic t and we have seen advantages also okay advantages and disadvantages of magic t Thank you.